The eagerly anticipated star explosion is finally upon us. For thousands of years, the idea of witnessing the final moments of a star has captured the imagination of many. Both astrophysicists and stargazers have been eagerly awaiting the next significant cosmic event. And now the moment has arrived. For years, scientists have closely observed Betelgeuse, hoping to see a spectacular star explosion. However, the focus has now unexpectedly shifted to the recurrent nova star system, T Coronae Borealis, TCRB, which is predicted to explode within the next few weeks. A recent paper reveals that during this explosion, TCRB will brighten by an astonishing 1,500 times, making it visible to the naked eye. This highly anticipated event has everyone on the edge of their seats. When exactly will it happen? What makes this such an extraordinary phenomenon? Stay tuned to find out. Few events in astrophysics capture the public's imagination as much as the dramatic end of a star's life. Yes, the April 8th solar eclipse was a remarkable sight, but the demise of a massive star is an unparalleled cosmic spectacle. As these stars exhaust their fuel, gravity takes hold leading to a catastrophic collapse culminating in a supernova. This explosive event releases immense amounts of energy, briefly outshining entire galaxies. Additionally, it disperses heavy elements crucial for the formation of new stars and planets. This awe-inspiring phenomenon has captivated and awed astronomers for generations. What's particularly intriguing is that T. Corona Borealis is poised for a cataclysmic explosion that could revolutionize our understanding of stellar evolution. Stay tuned as we delve into the captivating science behind this recurrent nova, elucidate the processes driving its spectacular luminosity, and provide guidance on how to observe it. But first, let's introduce you to T. Coronae Borealis, or TCRB, a binary star system that has held astronomers' fascination for decades. Although T. Coronae Borealis TCRB is only a 10th of magnitude object, meaning it's not visible to the naked eye and requires a decent telescope for observation. This binary system provides valuable insights into the complex dynamics within our galaxy. Here's an interesting tidbit. Binary stars are incredibly common. In fact, most stars visible in the night sky are part of binary or multiple star systems. There's a fascinating hypothesis that our own sun may have once had a companion star billions of years ago, orbiting a shared center of mass. While this theory is still debated, it underscores the dynamic and interconnected nature of stellar systems. The binary system TCRB consists of a red giant and a white dwarf that orbit around a common center of mass every 228 days. Their orbit is nearly circular, tilted at an angle of 67 degrees, with the stars separated by only 0.54 astronomical units. To provide perspective, this distance is closer than that between Venus and the Sun. The gravitational forces between these closely orbiting stars are significant given their proximity. The red giant, the largest star in the system, is in its final stages before transforming into a white dwarf. Meanwhile, the hottest component of the system is the white dwarf, which is surrounded by an accretion disk. This disk plays a crucial role in creating nova. Now let's delve into how these novae are produced. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to the Space Facts channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our content. So what exactly is a nova and what triggers it? A nova is a transient astronomical event that gives the appearance of a new star suddenly appearing in the sky. The term nova is derived from the Latin word for new reflecting the dramatic increase in brightness during the event. However, this stellar display is temporary, typically lasting from weeks to months before fading away. The trigger for a nova lies in a binary star system where two stars orbit each other. Usually, one star is more massive than the other. The more massive star burns through its fuel faster and eventually evolves into a red giant. As it expands, it can transfer matter onto its companion star, the white dwarf, through gravitational attraction. This matter accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf, forming an accretion disk. In this disk, hydrogen gas undergoes fusion reactions under extreme temperatures and pressures, causing a sudden and rapid increase in brightness, the nova eruption. This event releases an enormous amount of energy, 
often making the star temporarily thousands of times brighter than usual. After the outburst subsides, the system returns to its previous state, ready for potential future eruptions as matter continues to accrete onto the white dwarf. Understanding these processes not only enhances our knowledge of stellar evolution, but also underscores the dynamic interactions within binary star systems like T. Coroni Borealis. As the more massive star evolves into a red giant, it sheds its outer layers, releasing material into space and forming a planetary nebula. Eventually, only the dense core of the star remains, which becomes a white dwarf. This white dwarf is incredibly dense, with a mass similar to that of the Sun, but compressed into a volume comparable to that of Earth. Despite its small size, it maintains a strong gravitational attraction. The white dwarf remains gravitationally bound to its companion star, which has not yet reached the end of its life cycle. When the second star eventually evolves into a red giant, it also sheds its outer layers. However, instead of dispersing into space, as in the case of a typical red giant, these layers are drawn towards the white dwarf due to its gravitational pull. This accumulation of material forms an accretion disk of hydrogen around the white dwarf. As hydrogen accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf, its temperature increases dramatically. This causes the hydrogen to undergo fusion reactions, although the process is often unstable due to the conditions on the white dwarf's surface. This instability can lead to occasional bursts of energy and the production of heavier elements through exothermic reactions. Eventually, the buildup of energy reaches a critical point, resulting in a massive explosion. This explosion ejects gas from the white dwarf surface and generates an intense burst of light, known as a nova. Novae are temporary astronomical events, during which the white dwarf can temporarily become thousands of times brighter than normal. After the outburst, the system gradually returns to its previous state, ready for potential future eruptions as matter continues to accrete onto the white dwarf. Understanding these processes not only enhances our understanding of stellar evolution, but also sheds light on the dynamic interactions within binary star systems like T. Coronae Borealis. The duration of a nova's explosion can vary depending on the size of the star involved. Some novae fade quickly, while others take longer to diminish. On average, a nova will decrease in brightness by two or three magnitudes from its peak intensity over a period ranging from 25 to 80 days. Before delving into the intriguing specifics of T. Coroni Borealis's nova, it's worth considering. What makes this nova noteworthy? Why should we pay attention to it? This particular nova holds significance as one of the closest novae to Earth, offering a rare opportunity to study the intricate dynamics of a binary star system up close. The interactions between the red giant and the white dwarf, especially the mass transfer process, are pivotal for understanding stellar life cycles and the behavior of binary systems in general. The NOVA's 80-year cycle of outbursts provides astronomers with a predictable window to observe and study these events with unprecedented detail and precision. Such observations yield valuable data that can refine our current models of stellar evolution and behavior. In essence, T. Coroni Borealis's nova is not just a spectacular celestial event, it is a crucial phenomenon for advancing our understanding of the universe's fundamental processes and the dynamics within binary star systems. This recurring phenomenon is a remarkable display of cosmic forces in action, highlighting the gravitational pull of the white dwarf as it accumulates material from the outer atmosphere of its companion star over decades. As this accumulated material, primarily hydrogen, reaches critical density and temperature, it undergoes a thermonuclear runaway, resulting in a sudden and intense release of energy. This dramatic brightening isn't just a spectacular show. It provides astronomers with crucial insights into thermonuclear processes and the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. The explosion ejects material into space, enriching the interstellar medium and serving as a laboratory for studying the nucleosynthesis of elements. Each outburst of T. Coronae Borealis, TCRB, thus enhances our understanding of the processes driving stellar evolution and the chemical enrichment of the galaxy. These regular and intense outbursts offer astronomers exciting opportunities to test their knowledge of binary star systems and stellar explosions. As the global astronomical community eagerly anticipates the next outburst, armed with advanced technology, 
They expect new insights and potentially groundbreaking discoveries about the universe's stellar phenomena. The significance of T. coroni borealis lies not only in its predictability, but also in its ability to unveil the intricacies of the cosmos, making it a valuable subject for ongoing study and exploration. The question foremost on everyone's mind is, how can we be certain that TCRB will erupt soon? The American Association of Variable Star Observers, AA Vicesso, has meticulously recorded two significant events, one on May 12, 1866, and another on February 9, 1946. During both occurrences, TCRB reached a magnitude of two, making it visible to the naked eye. Interestingly, astronomers have observed that prior to the star's luminosity increase, it undergoes a slight decrease in brightness. In recent years, Justin D. Linford, a scientist from West Virginia University's Department of Physics and Astronomy, delved into TCRB's activity. Linford's research, conducted between 2015 and 2016, highlighted a notable surge in the star's brightness and an intensified emission of X-rays during this period. By compiling data from a variety of radio telescopes and optical telescopes, Linford constructed a model detailing the star's behavior. This meticulous observation and analysis not only reinforce our understanding of TCRB's cyclic behavior, but also provide a framework for predicting future outbursts. As astronomers continue to monitor T. coronae borealis with advanced technologies and refined methodologies, they anticipate further insights into the mechanisms driving its periodic explosions, enriching our knowledge of stellar dynamics and evolution. The findings are striking. T. coronae borealis's current behavior closely mirrors its activity in the 1940s, just prior to its last explosion. A thorough comparison of data from 2015 and 2016 with records from 1938 reveals an undeniable similarity in the star's behavior during these periods. Specifically, there was a noticeable decrease in brightness preceding the previous explosions, consistent with historical patterns observed in TCRB. In 1945, a year before the 1946 explosion, astronomers noted a significant decrease in the star's brightness by two magnitudes, from plus 10 to plus 12. To put this in perspective, stars with magnitudes higher than six or seven are challenging to observe with the naked eye and typically require specialized telescopes or binoculars. The implications are clear. TCRB is following a predictable cycle and based on its current behavior, it is highly likely to undergo a nova eruption in 2024. This prediction is not mere speculation, but a well-founded conclusion drawn from a thorough analysis of the star's historical behavior and activity. Now let's delve into a seminal scientific study on T. coronae borealis that provides a precise forecast for the upcoming nova eruption. Based on calculations by Louisiana State University's Professor Emeritus of Astronomy, Brad Schaefer, in collaboration with astronomers from the American Association of Variable Star Observers, AAVSO, we can anticipate that the nova eruption of T. coronae borealis, TCRB, will occur within the next few weeks, possibly months. The pattern preceding TCRB's nova explosions is distinct and predictable. Initially, the star's brightness decreases over approximately one year, followed by a return to its original brightness. Around seven years after this initial dimming phase, there is another brightness decrease, lasting a few months. Finally, about one year after the most recent dimming phase, TCRB erupts in a nova event, increasing in magnitude by up to eight times and becoming visible to the naked eye. Astronomical observations in 2023 confirmed that TCRB exhibited the characteristic dimming pattern that historically precedes its nova explosions. Given that this dimming occurred seven years after the previous one in 2016, the data strongly supports the conclusion that TCRB will indeed undergo a nova explosion in 2024, which will be observable without telescopic aid. Now, for those interested in observing this spectacular event, here are some considerations. One, location, T. Coroni Borealis can be observed from various locations around the world, as long as the skies are clear and free from light pollution. 2. Timing. Keep an eye on updates from astronomical organizations and platforms like AAVSO, 
which provide real-time information on astronomical events. The exact timing of the NOVA eruption can vary within the predicted time frame, so regular monitoring is advisable. 3. Equipment Initially, the NOVA may be visible to the naked eye once it reaches peak brightness. However, to observe finer details and changes in brightness over time, using binoculars or a small telescope can enhance your viewing experience. 4. Safety Always observe astronomical events safely. Avoid looking directly at the sun or using improper filters for telescopes, especially during daytime observations. By staying informed and prepared, astronomy enthusiasts can witness firsthand the awe-inspiring spectacle of a nova eruption, gaining valuable insights into the dynamic nature of celestial objects like T. Coronae Borealis. By preparing your observing location, familiarizing yourself with the star's position, and closely monitoring T. Coronae Borealis, TCRB, in the upcoming weeks, you'll greatly increase your chances of witnessing this rare and rewarding astronomical event. Keep in mind that TCRB is approximately 3,000 light years away from Earth, meaning the light we see today has traveled through space for 3,000 years, offering us a glimpse into the star's distant past. Any events currently unfolding on the star won't be visible to us until the year 5024. Unlike the widely visible solar eclipse on April 8th, observing TCRB's nova may not be as straightforward from every location. It's a magnitude 10 star, which means it's not visible to the naked eye from all places. Currently, we don't have the exact date for when the nova will occur, but it's anticipated to be soon. So when do you think the TCRB nova will make its appearance this year? Share your predictions. Thank you for watching.